The term American New Middle East was used only a few times by US officials, but used in a very special occasions and places to show how probably Washington wanted to change the face of this region. This was a part of the New World Order, which US sought from the earlier 90s after the collapse of Soviet Union. So let's have a brief look at this. The term New Middle East was introduced to the world in June 2006 in Tel Aviv by the US Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice in replacement of the older and more imposing term the Greater Middle East. Some countries in the region including Iran have a very doubtful image of this plan. You may have seen many reports and analyses on this topic in Western media. Here we are not going to approve either point of view. You can judge the reality by comparing this opinion with the one mostly reviewed by the media. Based on this idea, in short, US at the time wanted to change many borders in the Middle East and to make it something like this. This project, which has been in the planning stages for several years, consists of creating an arc of instability, chaos and violence extending from Lebanon, Palestine and Syria to Iraq, the Persian Gulf and Iran. Zbigniew Brzezinski, a former US national security advisor, also admitted this plan in a broader view. He wrote in his book The Grand Chessboard American Primacy and Geostrategic Imperatives, alluded to the modern Middle East as a control lever of an area he calls the Eurasian Balkans. The Eurasian Balkans consists of the Caucasus, Georgia, the Republic of Azerbaijan and Armenia, and Central Asia, which is Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan, even Afghanistan in some cases, and to some extent both Iran and Turkey. Iran and Turkey form the northern tires of the Middle East that edge into Europe and the former Soviet Union. General Wesley Clark, former commander of US European forces, once said that White House, after invasion of Afghanistan, planned to overthrow seven Islamic governments, starting from Iraq, Lebanon, Syria, and ending with Iran. So based on this plan, US also wanted to infiltrate in Central Asia after Middle East to have control over republics of the Russian near abroad. The following map was prepared by the Lieutenant Colonel of the US Army, Ralph Peters. It was published in the Armed Forces Journal in June 2006. Peters is a retired colonel of the US National War Academy. So this map has been viewed as the US plan for new Middle East. The map does not officially reflect the Pentagon's doctrine but it has been used in a training program at NATO's Defense College for senior military officers. This map, as well as other similar maps, has most probably been used at the National War Academy as well as in military planning circles. While Americans believe that this map could resolve inequalities in this region and is better for the people in it, the first thing that comes to my mind is that this is exactly on the contrary because many religious and racial minorities are still not taken into account in this map. So even if it really happens, there will be many more new wars and confrontation in this region. Some borders in this map are drawn based on nationality and race, and some are drawn based on religion. So I think it's a wrong mixture. The Iranian idea, which includes opinion of all Shia and Iran supporters in the region, especially militias, which are a considerable number, despite the American view, believes that most of conflicts and wars in this region originate from the US-Israeli strategies and even a negative role of Britain. Tehran also believes that it has played the main role in failure of this new Middle East plan of the US. So this is how Tehran sees all events in the recent two decades. Iran has helped many governments in this region to withstand US plans for changes to form new Middle East, from Afghanistan and Iraq to Syria, Lebanon and even Yemen. So now US, which was not able to go on with this plan, is going after Tehran itself. In this context, Tehran not only sees itself the savior of its own borders, but also the protector of all other nations. What US goes after at the same time can and cannot approve this plan. But in the end of the day, it is also important to know how their opponents sees these things, right or wrong. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and write your opinion down in the comments. There are also other videos on these issues and similar issues on my channel. 
you can check them.